If I were you, before you even put your feet on the floor in the morning, or certainly do it within a few minutes after you're up, open your mouth and say, something good is going to happen to me today. And don't stop there. Don't stop there and go on and make the enemy really mad and say, and something good is going to happen through me today. Something good is going to happen to me and something good is going to happen through me because we are blessed to be a blessing. Don't stop at just wanting to be blessed. We're blessed to be a blessing. God told Abraham, I will bless you and I will make you a blessing, causing you to dispense good to others. When you get up each morning, take time to thank God for the day. Don't just rush out of the house all stressed out. Start the day off with a grateful attitude. All through the day, meditate on His promises. Keep your mind filled with thoughts of hope, faith, thoughts of victory. Hope is very simply a positive attitude and mindset. The hopeful person absolutely refuses to be negative in any way. Although they recognize and deal with their problems, they remain hopeful in thought, attitude, and conversation all the way through to victory. You can decide today to be full of hope. Your life will be more rewarding, more fulfilling when you're in relationship with your Creator. God breathed His life into you. He knows what your purpose is. He knows what you can accomplish. When you make Him a part of your life, you will go further than you can in just your own ability, your own talent. The scripture says, if you'll put God first, He will crown your efforts with success. His favor on your life will take you where your talent could not take you. I want you to make a decision today that it's time for you to learn how to live the life that Jesus died for you to have, to let go of the things that are behind, and to start fresh, and to ask God to take everything that's ever been done to you that was unjust or immoral and somehow work it out for your good and turn it into something that can actually help other people. You could be at the lowest place in your life right now. You could be hurting so bad. Maybe your husband or your wife has walked out on you. Or you may just feel like that your whole life is over and little do you know it may just be beginning. And let me just say this to you. You have no idea the amazing things that God has planned for you. There's no devil in hell that is big enough to keep you from the best that God has for you if you're determined to have that best and if you will do your part. I want you to make a decision today that you are not going to live your life wounded and broken. This is a new day. God is breathing new life back into your spirit. Dare to take hold of his strength. Get your passion back. When you feel weak, start declaring, I am strong. If you'll do this, I believe and declare you will run and not be weary. God is renewing your strength so you can soar like the eagles. Health is coming, courage is coming, freshness is coming.